Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2022 video tutorial. I want to do that planetary gear. So let's take a look. I've got here one constraint and I can drive it. And it works quite well. very easy to do in Inventor. So let's have fun with Inventor. Okay, so if you want to follow this exercise, you can download the step files, the parts for this exercise from my GrabKit account. Let's bring in the first gear, that would be the ring gear, and let's place it grounded at the origin. Now you will immediately recognize there is a new surface in that part. So I've created simple extrudes in order to simulate the roll surfaces of those gears. So in every gear there is already a surface. In the step files it isn't. So you have to create these on your own. But you might need the diameter of this one and the diameter in this case is 40. Let's Check it out, inspect, go for measure, select that edge and you see it's 40 millimeter in diameter. Now let's bring in the first carrier, carrier 01. Put it right there. And now you could proceed with constraints or with joints. I want to go for joints. So I want to use a rotational one between this edge and that edge here and we might have to reverse or flip the component. Now that's great. Let's take a look. Yes, works and confirm. Now I need the planet gears. So go for place. And I need three of those so the diameter of those surfaces is 16.5. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's 16.5 millimeter. Now I need or I could hide that ring gear. And let's use joints to place those planet gears. Rotational one between this edge and maybe that edge here. So you might notice it moves it in this direction, so let's cancel it out. Do it from the small one here to the bigger one. Always start with the new one. It would have worked the other way around as well, but so it's easier to see what happens. Okay. Apply. Next one. This edge here to that edge. Apply. And also this edge here. that edge and OK. Now in order to move those gears we need a constraint between these surfaces and that one. So let's go for constraint, motion and it should go from this surface to that surface. Apply from this one to that one. Apply and from this one to that one as well. And OK. Please note it shows both will turn the same direction. So let's 
go to that not this rotational one, the first one, this one, and drive it maybe 360 degrees. Let's see if this works. Yeah, looks good. Let's reset it and cancel this out. Let's bring in the second carrier, carrier 02. Put it right there, and again, it should be a rotational joint between not quite this edge, but that would be this edge here. And see that it chooses also that center here, that small one here. Okay, and the second one would be. this edge here and does it point in the correct direction yes that's okay so let's confirm it and maybe just maybe hide carrier one now i need a constraint between this surface and that one. So this rot if this rotates in this direction, that one should rotate in this direction. So it means these are opposite directions. Let's go for a constraint, go for motion, opposite direction between this one and that one. Confirm. And let's drive that this rotational one. Is it the one? No. It's the first one. Drive. Let's see. This looks good. Yes. And confirm. Now I need three more planet gears and I need rotational joints between this edge and maybe that one here apply between this one and that one apply and it was between this one and that one and okay Now I need constraints between those planet gears and that carrier 2. So go for constraint, go for a motion, and I think it should be counterclockwise. Let's take a look. If this turns around this way, they should go that way, yeah. So they should be in different directions. And this surface to that one apply this surface to that one here apply and this surface to that one and okay let's drive this and take a look i want to have more steps therefore i will change it from one degree amount of value to total of steps 7200 let's take a look they turn in the same direction yes that's okay stop it and reset it and cancel this out now i need the sun gear so go for place t 
take the sun gear. There you go. And I forgot this diameter is necessary for you to know, so let's measure it. Inspect, measure. And this one here is seven millimeter. And that one here should be seven millimeter as well. So go from here. Yeah, that's seven millimeter. Now let's add another joint. Rotational, and that would be this. Sorry, the other way around. From this circle here to that circle, and okay, and then we need another constraint motion and if this turns in that direction this should turn in the same direction so it's forward and it would go from this surface to one of these okay let's go for drive no that's wrong or is it Let's check it once more. No, that's definitely wrong. So the last one has to be the other way around. So I need to edit this and this should be like that. Let's take a look. Drive. Yeah, that's it. Let's show the ring gear. And hide all surfaces. If that's possible here. No, it isn't. Uh, it's kind of annoying to... Oh, there. The construction surfaces. There you go. Great. And... Now let's animate this one once more. Drive and yes. And if this would be transparent, it's easier to see. Okay. Go for drive. Nice. And if you want to speed it up, go for, let's say, 3600. Yeah. Great. And I'm done. So I hope it was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook app fan page. would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.